Susie and welcome to the Ray Train. Join the train by subscribing and click the bell so the train goes woo -hoo! Welcome to the fifth ever episode of Is It Worth the Dough or No? Today, we're going to be talking about the still relevant Haley Fam Retro Reprise clothing brand. You may be thinking this is a um, kind of heated topic. When Haley Fam first launched this clothing line, there was a little bit of flack from people saying that the clothes was expensive, it wasn't good. Now, I don't know a lot about the hate towards her clothing brand, but I decided to try it out and see if it's still relevant, if she's gonna do anything else with this or what. And yes, I do think her clothes are a little bit expensive, but today we're going to talk about her brand and review a clothing item from her Retro Reprise website. It's time. Now, despite the fact that her clothing is on the expensive side, we're going to observe with an open mindset and see how much we like it. We being you and me. Hey guys! So today we're going to talk about the Retro Reprise store and launch date and everything like that. So on Haley Fam's Instagram, she posted this with like the caption like three more days. Now it is slightly obnoxious, but it does say it launched on November 22nd, 2019. So that was last year, but let's check out her website and see how it's doing. When you first open her website, it is very retro, very cute, kind of, you know, vintage vibes. You get the whole modeling picture with people walking through with the merch on, with the old TV. And it just looks cute, okay? So her first collection is called Your Favorite Collection. She had this box. I'm not sure how much it retailed at. I thought it was like 109. I'm not sure. But it had every product that she has on this launch in the box. She is sold out of that. She's also sold out of Your Favorite Crew Neck, which is pretty cute, not gonna lie. She has her favorite joggers for $54.99. Now, looking at the shipping price of my order, um, that would have come in over $60. So, because my shipping price was $8.99, and I had a coupon because she had like a sale thing going on, and I got $22 off, so it took the price down nicely, but the shipping was outrageous, yet again. And it was $41.99, which I could buy two pairs of sweatpants for that from Marshalls for the price of what I paid for one. She ships through the company DHL. I've never heard of these people, but they do give you like updates of when stuff is happening. And it took nine days to get here, to get to where I live. And that's pretty good timing considering what's going on in the world right now. So I wouldn't have to complain about that. But her scrunchies are $15, which is kind of pricey, and her socks are $10. For one pair, that's a little much, but the thing that really got me is the return and exchange policy and the size guide. Let's look at the size guide really quick. So this size guide, size small, is 22 inches. I have never met anyone with a 22 inch waist. So I don't know who's walking around here with a 22 inch waist, but I'm a small and my waist is according to the size chart, an extra, extra, extra large. I don't wear an extra, extra, extra large. I wear a small. And if you look at the, the retro reprise page of the sweatpants, it claims to fit true size fits extra baggy. My true size is a small. If I got a small, my ankles, 
it would be up to my knees because right now it's like pretty high on my legs and even on the website you can see like her ankle is right there and that's like three inches above her ankle and that's probably why she wore the socks but you know what they are really thick they are really warm so I'm not um that part they did really good on it's extra thick fleece material now you'll see that I thought it was uh, polyester it doesn't say where it's made it does come from it comes from uh, California as you'll see but I don't know if it's made in China I'm in the USA it's designed by Haley fam but uh, that size guide but the other thing that really got me got me going was I bought these sweats on sale because I wouldn't buy them any other way and I shouldn't have bought them but I was like you know what they don't fit right I can buy better sweats for cheaper and get more so I'm gonna return it but no you can't return a sale item but then I was like wait I don't need to return it how about I just exchange it if I can't return it let's exchange it no a sale item does not you cannot return a sale item or exchange a sale item so they really get you coming and going I should have known better and I've learned that if you buy anything check the return policy because buying clothes online to begin with is kind of dangerous you're going to um, enjoy the opening of the package and the try on to see how well they fit and my last thoughts to see if they're worth the dough or no enjoy the rest of the video now for the part of the video that we've all been waiting for the unboxing and the observing of her sweatpants this is the package that came in I taped up my address we all know she lives in Texas so that must be where her store is but and I paid 42 bucks for these bad boys Ooh. I see them. This is actually so exciting. <laughs> okay, so I've just opened the bag. No card, nothing personalized, saying thank you for your purchase, anything like that. So my initial thoughts of feeling them are, they're a little stiff, but they have been like in shipment. There is some wrapping paper, which is so cute. And right there, it's cut a little bit, but that is not that bad. Woo! Oh, okay. So they're kind of like opening a present or something. Okay, so the first thing I see that could be a potential problem is there's this thread. Oh my word, there's a thread. Just kidding. There's this one single thread that oh, Lou is trying to come. Setting this wrapping paper aside. This super cute retro design. It is ripped. It is crinkled. The material seems super thick. Like, really thick. The edges, as you can probably tell, are a little, like, worn looking. And they do have, like, this white look to it. It looks a lot whiter on camera, but it's just enough to tell that it looks like it's worn. If that makes any sense. These are the strands. They're red with like a yellow dye, and then these are the brads that are silver. Like, really cozy feel on the outside. On the inside, we have a polyester kind of feel to it, and my Puma sweatpants that I'm wearing now are not as thick. Now, I did get them from Marshalls, but they are not as thick as these. Even my Calvin Klein ones that I got from Calvin Klein are not as thick thick and just heavy as these are from feeling it. Um, they have pockets which I love. The pockets are a different size. That Okay, wait. We have to observe this because that's very strange. Maybe I just wasn't getting in the pocket. I don't know. Let's see. Feeling from the inside. Okay, yeah, so the pockets, they're two different sizes. I'm almost positive of it. And I'm not sure if she made it that way or that's just, well, maybe not. I don't know. I think so. I think they're two different sizes. This is the tag that 
you can will find if you buy these retro reprise. This is the pattern on the sweatpants themselves. It is like an iron-on feel, so that's kind of nerve-wracking if they're gonna come off in the wash, but hopefully not. There's no washing instructions. Whoa, okay, this waist is really small. Let's get to the part that you've all been waiting for, the try-on. We're just gonna jump right into them. Ready, set. All right, so I have the sweatpants on right now, and there are like little fibers in the pocket, but that's not that big a deal. gonna do the positives that I find in these and then the negatives that I have one positive is they're very thick super thick super warm comfortable I like how they have pockets the design is super cute I don't think I've ever worn a yellow a mustard yellow piece of clothing the negative I have about these is they're not as baggy as I'd like it to be I've heard a lot that her sweatshirts are super baggy and super comfortable and all that, but I've also heard her sweatpants aren't as baggy as people want them to be, and I would have to agree with them. I wish they were a bit more baggy because it looks like she sewed a bigger piece in the back and then in the front it's smaller, and I don't know if she should have done equal pieces. I don't know, okay? Then another negative I have is where it hits my ankle. So, in my Puma sweatpants, they hit my ankle at like right here at this point. And this hits like you can see when I'm sitting down, it hits right there. When I'm standing up, it hits a little lower than that, obviously, because when you sit, it'll pull because you're sitting. But would I say it's worth the dough? No. I don't think it's worth the dough. I would buy these if they were $35, and that included shipping. And I ordered a medium, and I should have ordered a large to get that really nice baggy fit. If you really like these sweatpants, if you think they're really cute, and they're something you need in your closet, then yeah, go ahead, buy them, by all means. Uh, if you're wondering, is it really worth my money to buy these? I would say no. I am looking forward to what of whatever else she comes out with in her in her retro reprise store. I'm excited to see what she does. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Ray Train. Join the train by subscribing, like I said, and click that bell so the train goes woo woo! Thank you guys so much for 52 subscribers. Have a blessed day.